Greetings, my dear student. We will start lesson 3-3 three, three rotation. The essential question, what are the properties that identify a rotation? After finishing this lesson, you will be able to draw and describe the rotation of the figure about a point of rotation for a given angle of rotation. Let's go through our lesson, see some part of it. In example one, what are the properties that identify rotation? We will draw a rotated image. As you can see here, we have steps to describe in each one. It's very easy if you follow these steps. We will explain them thoroughly in our lesson. Now, for this rotation in the coordinate plane, which is about rotating a figure about 90 degree, 180, 270 above the origin in the coordinate plane. Of course, here, 90 degree means it's positive rotation. Let's see what happens if we rotate the point here. To change the pre-image point, use the slider. Here we have the, uh, to change it, 90 degree, 180 degree, and 270 degree. You can try it on your own and see what happens to the image. And these are the rules. We'll explain them in our lesson. Also, we have to know how to draw a rotation in the coordinate plane. Like what is R, 90 degree R stands for rotation, A, B, C. The solution here, we will rotate each figure, each point, and then we will draw the pre-image and the image. We always like to connect rotation into our lessons and uh, the real world problems. The first drummer is a drum line at the 20 yard line. The sixth drummer is a 35 yards line. Communicate pre precisely. How is that done? We will see to draw the pre-image. Step one, the to rotate. Step two, again, and then the conclusion. We will discuss it in details. I hope you like this lesson. For me personally, I love it. So much fun. It allows you to connect and to imagine how will the figure be. Now, theorem 3, 2. Any rotation is a composition of reflection across two lines that intersect at a center of rotation. We'll explain it in details. No proving. Properties of rotations. We will, at the end, summarize what we have studied uh, and see how to apply it in our lesson. I hope you all understand it thoroughly. Make sure to ask any question. Don't hesitate to ask and make sure that you understand it thoroughly. Have a good day, everybody.